Mm. As for Swedish, <laughs> the last one is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I, like, I just expect uh, if there are any Scandinavian people listening to us, they're like, grow up. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to another episode of our podcast where language enthusiasts talk about learning and stuff. It's three of us here. I'm Zoya. I'm Taya. And I'm Ksusha. In this chaotic world, we all in need of safe space to speak one's mind, love, and enjoy life. Because that's the only way to stay safe while zooming through chaos. Hi there, um, welcome back to our channel and to our podcast. Today we are having a new format over here. Yes, we are going to talk about different languages and kind of teach each other the words from these languages, am I right? Yep, yeah, it's true. All right, okay. Um, then uh, who will be the first? Uh, you will be with the German, right? Okay, yes. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> Take the floor. <laughs> well, uh, my first question would be, uh, what do you actually um, associate with German, with the German language, with German culture? Maybe there are some things that are associated generally with the Germans. Yeah, and let's keep it light. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with the German language, uh, the only association I have is just that it's impossibly long words that's right <laughs> <laughs> you will uh, feel that pain today too <laughs> you. do you mean <laughs> to feel the pain yeah. I will be... no, i'm joking okay. all right uh, um, do you have any yeah, yeah uh, as i'm lucky enough to have been to germany uh, I associate with uh, punctuality mm -hmm. and I have this like it's a quite stereotypical I guess that Germans are quite punctual uh, people and also for some reason I associate it with sausages in jars I have the same I have the same I had in my head like worst is it worst yes. worst yeah worst. worst yeah but like I remember us going to a like German supermarket and just seeing jars full of sausages with some like water from it, water what is and I'm like that's new were they pickled <laughs> sausages or something I have they might have been I have no idea we haven't tried them like I haven't tried them and we didn't try them at um, <laughs> like at that time but it was quite shocking yeah it was just uh, some Okay. It's a culture shock, basically. Culture shock, yeah, that's what Because, it like, we are used to sausages being in, um, like, was it, like, packets, something? Mm -hmm. something? Plastic, not glass. So, yeah, that was uh, quite shocking. So, this is what I associate with German. And if we're talking about language, yes, long words, um, kind of whatever you see, you read kind of stuff. So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, most of all was true. I think you are you you are good. Uh, you're, prepared. <laughs> you're prepared. You're <laughs> prepared. Okay, bring it in. Like so, we need that pain. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of these long words, uh, maybe um, um, there there is one word that I like. Um, there are some. Very long words. I haven't prepared the longest German word mm -hmm. to you. It's so much pain. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you. Nobody should experience such pain. Yes, right. Except for Germans themselves. <laughs> <laughs> because they Sorry. like it. <laughs> That's black humor. Uh, I've prepared some mm, like common German word. Um, it's a normal thing and try to pronounce it and to ex maybe say what it means try mm -hmm. to guess right yes okay so stretch <sighs> holes hack delchen i have no okay. idea can i can it. i have a go yeah streich holz schachtelchen yeah richtig <laughs> 
drei Holzschächtelchen. Dankeschön. What does it mean? I have no idea. Like, I don't remember any of the words. <laughs> don't ask me, like, a, like, no clue. Really, no clue. It's a box of matches. Yeah, so Germans are famous for just putting several words together. And they make sense if you know, I guess, Streich is match. Yeah, Streichholz is match. Streichholz. Okay, yeah. Schech Schechtelchen is a little box. So a little box of so matches. So they make sense. Is the one word. Yeah. Okay, yeah. then that's the, what they have in common with Spanish because sometimes in Spanish they also kind of like just unite two words and it will mean something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have an example. Oh, come on. Uh, English has the same. Compound mm -hmm. nouns, compound edges, whatever. So Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, yes. It's just we don't know the German words. This is why it's all new to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Of course, there are some other things. Uh, for example, there are some words that uh, look similar to English words or to um, words from other languages, from Russian, for example. Mm -hmm. So there is one word that is... Like this. Hell. Yes. Hell. Yeah, that's hell. Zoya, do you know what that means? Uh, I guess it's not oh, hell. Like is it English. light? No. Is it light? Yes, yes. Because dunkel is uh, dark and hell is uh, light. Yes. That's right. So it's very light <laughs> in <Yeah>. the hell. <laughs> well, yeah, I remember because Taya taught me the word. Well, like retaught me the word. Um, and I was like, yeah, that makes sense, sure. But I actually like it about languages when it's like so different from what you know that you remember it better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it may be confusing at the, si at the first time, but like if you have that association that, as you said, uh, that, that it is so light in hell, then yeah, you can perfectly make it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I also could uh, teach you one more word. Maybe try to guess what that is. Drunk. Druk. Druk. It's yeah. shame. No. Uh, I was not thinking exactly. about drunk. <laughs> drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's druk. And it's uh, pressure. Pressure. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's pressure. So you put druk to somebody or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, that's, um, of course, there is my favorite word and it's connected with a an animal. So I like those words um, that are, I, I need to write that correctly. <laughs> that's my favorite word. <laughs> Nash katze? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's your katze. I, I know katze. I will not even try to read it. It's like, no. <laughs> I give up. Nash cat. Nash cat sounds like our cat, but of course it's not. <laughs> oh, I no, like that's... it. Actually, like this is Nash cat. Nash cat. But well, what does it mean? What does it mean? It means sweet tooth. <gasps> is it? Yeah, a person oh, nice. likes eating sweets. <gasps> you know what? I have a similar word. I have actually the same word in Swedish, but with a different animal. So it, this is interesting, and it was not oh. planned. <laughs> Listeners, that was not planned. <laughs> no incidents, I don't think so. <laughs> cool. So it's, so it's basically uh, something sweet and a cat. Sweet cat. A so person cat. likes eating sweets. Yeah. But cats are sweet, so it makes total sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can guess who is a cat person in this trio. <laughs> it's me. Yeah, <laughs> I know why I did that. Like, I have some kind of beard, like goat or whatever. No, it's like, like I am I the goat. <laughs> like, it should be like something like this, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna be banned by YouTube, <laughs> like inappropriate content. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, Ty, do you have anything else to ask? Uh, yeah. No, um, no, actually, there is one more word that Ksusha already knows and she can pronounce that. Finally! <laughs> yeah, so give it to her. Because actually, I don't know how to pronounce it, I guess. Uh, it's just... Um... It will be such a failure if I just read it incorrectly right now. <laughs> and Joma's gonna come for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will just read it as I remember it and you tell me if it was correct. It's 
Eir šalėl savo brūkstelį virūr sakėr. Aier. And it's yeah. not. No? <laughs> yes, I got it. <laughs> they, they always have this I instead of English here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so what's, the, what's the right pronunciation of that? Reading that. Should I give it a go? Yeah. 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 I know. <laughs> have no idea what it means. So, so the problem that, uh, with my pronunciation was at the beginning, right? It's like yeah, ah, yeah. Is it ah. eggs? Yeah. Something eggs should be made some in some way, no? So oh, that's such a no? cool tool that we all need in our kitchens. <laughs> like it's. <laughs> Is it a special thing you have to like fish out eggs from a saucepan? No? No, no, no. It's close, it's connected to eggs, but it's not about the like, one you this... put it in? Kinda. So it's the thing that helps you to crack the egg. And oh my. And you have oh, like push. <laughs> and you mean spoon. no, wait, sp- instead of spoon? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and, and it cracks like it's in a really neat circle away, and you can mm-hmm. then like uh, oh my, scoop it, it out, out. Yeah. Scoop yeah. it out. Yes, yes, yes. And that would be it. Oh my god! Air shallen so brustelen verur sacher. Amazing. That was hilarious. Yes, and a special word for this thing. Yeah. Why don't you? Yes, have a special word. Actually, it shows that for German, eating uh, boiled eggs is a part of the culture. Yes, I actually haven't thought of it. Yeah, it's a very breakfast. British. Mm-hmm. 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 Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So that's cool. Thank you. Thanks for the discoveries. <laughs> yes, I do love German. Mm. <laughs> Should we move on to Spanish? Yeah. Yes. Well, that's gonna I'm be looking bullshit. forward to it. <laughs> Okay, that's, uh, it's actually just a number of words that some of them are like, uh, some of them have some, I don't know, not special meaning, but some associations uh, with, uh, let's start with, uh, I think the easy one. Um, I just want you to look at it and tell me uh, what do you think it means? So yeah, so first to read it and what do you think it means? Like this. Cineasta. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cineasta. Well, something to do with cinema? Yeah, yeah, because cine, uh, it's cinema. It's like it's... movie goer? Go? No, no, that's not. Cineasta. Movie lover? <laughs> director? <laughs> yes, it's actually a director, yes. Oh. So it's a film director. It is a okay. cineasta. And it's actually one of the not so many words that do not change if it's feminine or masculine. So it oh, they have very... it like taxista or something. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mm. Cineasta. So yeah. Pedro Almodovar as a cineasta. True. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, Pedro cool. Almodovar is cineasta. Uh, mm. I just like how it sounds. It's a weird word, word maybe, but I like how it sounds. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, this one. Sacapuntas. 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 <laughs> you like play music with that word. Uh-huh. It's actually two words that we uh, connected, like a compound them, <laughs> as uh, Zoe said. And it's a uh, pencil sharp- sharpener. Ooh. Ooh. So it's like punta, it's when it gets sharp, and mm-hmm. saca, uh, sacar. Uh, so you use. Uh, Saca puntas. Yes, and you get your pencil sharp. It's pencil sharp sharpener. Okay. So amazing, like music. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, Spanish is like puntas. music. Puntas. Yeah, okay. And they have two more. Uh, just uh, they are kind of phrases, but they are a bit connected. So the first one is this one. Oh, mm. de nada. De nada. Mm-hmm. I know that. Uh, me too. Okay, what does it mean? It's like a welcome, not at yeah. all. Yeah, not, not at all. all. You're welcome. Yes, I like. I, I just like. And that. also, nada. nada means nothing. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it actually means a bunch of things. It's like means nothing, anything, not at all. And yeah, it has a bit different context, uh, different meaning in different contexts. But yeah, I just love, uh, like in Russian, we also have like, мне надо. Надо. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like this one. And also one uh, word, I think you will get the meaning of it just uh, from the look. And medio de la nada. Medio middle? Mm-hmm. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yes. And medio de la nada. In, in the middle of nowhere. It's wow. uh, the phrase that I came across uh, with my Spanish group. Actually, a student of mine wrote, uh, wrote it and I then researched it a bit. And yeah, it's like a perfect copy from in the middle of nowhere in Spanish, mm-hmm. in English. So that's yeah. It. Cool. Yes. <laughs> that's really nice. Okay, we need to go to... Swedish. Swedish, yes. <laughs> First of all, disclaimer. I do not speak Swedish. <laughs> I've tried to learn it, but it's just like something went wrong and I'm still like on hold waiting to start to resume my classes or I don't know, anyways, doesn't matter, but I'm a fan of Scandinavian languages. Again, do not speak any of them. We're gonna focus on Swedish today because this is the one I like the most, and I think the one that is the most popular out of what four of them, right? So we have mm-hmm. Finnish, Norwegian. Swedish and Danish and I think Swedish is the most popular among them again I might be wrong mm-hmm. maybe Finnish for <laughs> people from St. Pete's Finnish is the most popular <laughs> Scandinavian if language if you're from St. Pete's and you're trying to learn Finnish please come to comments yes. and be like Finnish is the best <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so the first question is like guys what are your associations with Sweden if you hear Sweden Ikea. what pops into mind Ikea of course Lego. Is it Swedish? Or this is new for me? I actually think so. Yeah, I think it's... It Lego. might be. Correct us if we are wrong, please, in the comments. <laughs> yes. I'm pretty sure it's Swedish. Um, okay. Yeah, I also know, uh, I have no idea about Swedish, but I know that exactly in Swedish is exact. That's oh, okay. Again, cannot correct you. Don't know many words. So yeah. I know only one. So. <laughs> You're going to learn some more. I know like a handful, I guess. Uh, but that's it. Oh no, it's Denmark. Sorry. Denmark. Close yeah. enough. Close <laughs> enough. It's Scandinavian. <laughs> okay. Uh, w- what there. I like about Swedish... Well, what I know about Swedish is that... Um, it's very difficult to translate some of the words into any language, like English, Russian, French, it doesn't matter, because most of the words are like concepts. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think you've all heard of Hugo, right? And Hugo is actually Danish, so like we're not putting it here. But Hugo is what? So maybe actually Danish is the most popular, right? <laughs> no, wait, because of one word, it's not. But what is Hugo? How can you describe it? It's just like this... I think philosophy of life, like mindset, uh, when you are centered on like your feelings. Interesting. No, uh, no it's just like it's getting cozy at home, okay. lighting candles, <laughs> uh, being surrounded by your loved deep, ones. I guess. Yeah, it's a bit too deep. It might have like grown into it, I guess. Now it's yes, yes, but basically it's just like getting cozy at home. Because, you know, uh, Scandinavian winters get long. As we know, we are from Russia, right? Anyways, so the first word is going to be this one. Can you try and read it? <gasps> Lago. Oh, I heard it. That's I the lifestyle. It yeah. It's a lifestyle. Oh, okay. No. What does it mean? Uh, it means that you don't... Uh, it's mi- like minimalism so, of some sort. Okay. Uh, you don't put too much um, effort, maybe. You you uh, li- you lead a normal life without much, many posh things, without uh, buying something very expensive. You just concentrate on something you have, maybe. 
uh again i think you kind of like like mm, put it into bigger things that they are lagom is just it means just the exact amount of something so it's just uh, not too little not too big just the exact and mm-hmm. they say it about everything and actually not only about life or just like I, the, I know it's the exact amount of ice cream on your plate is gonna be oh, lagum. that's it i actually remember that when i was in bali i had uh, i ordered the um, cosmetics and the name, brand name was Lagam, and it was actually Lagam, and then it's in the lower uh, case, it was written, not too little, not too much. Yes, not too little, mm. not too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So maybe you can apply it to, like, your lifestyle, of course. Like, Hugo is the same, but basically it's just a word that they use a lot, and uh, they say that they love it so much. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay, next one you might have heard about, too. Fika. 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 No, yeah. I have no idea. I haven't heard of it. No? no. Ooh. Well, I, again, um, lucky enough to have been to Sweden, again, just once. <laughs> but uh, so they have, and it's kind of a meetup with friends to mm-hmm. get, they say coffee, but I guess just any drink now, um, to like, to chat, to catch up on life. And usually with, you know, a cinnamon bun, as it's also very Swedish. To you cinnamon bun Swedish as well. Cinnamon bun, yes. No, cinnamon. Like oh, I, d- I don't know. It doesn't sound Swedish. You mean like the brand? Yeah, yeah, the, the brand name, I mean. I or maybe think it's so. actually American. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, like, a coffee break with your friends uh, with some kind of pastry. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily with cinnamon. So, oh, yeah. We have some. Yeah. I, uh, okay. And actually, I thought about, like, we have it. Like, we do it regularly. Fika. Basically. Let's call it Fika. Let's call it Fika. Yeah, let's, let's go. Not chicken, but Fika. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, next one is this. Musa. 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 Yeah, they have you. Again, Swedish people or any Scandinavian people come and correct me. Uh, Musa. And actually, it's uh, as far as I understand, it's Swedish Hugo. Just getting cozy at home, lighting, lighting candles, uh, you know, making hot cocoa and all the stuff. Just they have their own word. Okay. okay. Uh, one more. They're so short. <laughs> yeah, well, I it was my soccer, soccer grease. grease. Yeah, soccer grease. So. so I guess it's the one that you told us. Kind of spoil it a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Luch- oh, is it? Um, something uh, cha- uh, children eat. It's a sweet thing. Mm, no, I no. think it's like sweet tooth, as uh, Zoe said. That you ah, had like you said, nasha katze, and you mm. said it's uh, a person who has a sweet tooth, but katze is a cat. So this is a person who has a teeth. Sorry, uh, who has a sweet tooth in Swedish, but um, the. I guess the second word is Greece and it's pig. <laughs> so sugar pig. It's a person who has a sweet tooth in Swedish. Okay. We have sugar, sugar daddy. We have sugar cat and sugar pig. <laughs> Which are you? Which, Which one? are you? Yes. So yeah, it's a bit um, strange. Um, yeah, I have one more. Again, I'm not sure... <laughs> YouTube is gonna uh, was gonna have us have it, but let's try. So please do not read it as you think it's read in English, because there, it is a joke. Oh, it's not a joke. It's a real word. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, almost. It's like I tried to listen to it. It's like sluice station. It's like something food or thir or something. Station. Yes, it sounds like Spanish. The yeah, the it, it does. But what do you think it means? I have like I cannot shake off the English <laughs> word, <laughs> so I have no idea. Maybe um, is it connected to winter? It should be a place for something. No, it is a place for doing mm-hmm. something. Is it connected not really. to winter sports? <laughs> winter sports? No. No. no, no, not at all. <laughs> I'm trying to get some <laughs> German word that could help me. 
Uh, so anyways, it's a final destination. <laughs> final destination. <laughs> and I guess it makes sense. You know, if you, you know, being single for too long, this is final destination. This is uh, shaming. <laughs> uh, can you get that written on the train or somewhere? I guess so. Like oh, yeah. they say, like it's final destination, and it's like the f- um, the final like station on a like metro line or something. So yeah, I guess if the you know the train goes there, it's like. <laughs> Just a schluss, like schluss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's where we all end up. Right? <laughs> no? That's not I, my intention. Okay. <laughs> Again, I'm sh- I like, I hope YouTube is gonna um, let us have this word. But we will kind of close it with, I don't know, some. Uh, maybe, yes. But then it's, it should be like understandable. But yeah, I, I read the special like article on uh, Swedish words and it was like, so this is the word and it's not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so yeah. But I still Swedish think word. it's a little bit like that. <laughs> if you read it's too much sense, into it, you know? <laughs> yes, it's gonna like end up there. Okay, okay. I have actually a question too. Uh, on you. Can you pick one word that you love the most from different languages? Because like from German, I definitely get It's my love. But for the uh, Swedish one, I'm actually torn between Fika because yeah, we actually do that every time. And the last one. <laughs> because I want to be there. <laughs> because I don't want to be there. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's why we're different. <laughs> yes, but yeah, I'm torn. What about you guys? So we're choosing from the ones we learned today? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, German one. Well, I know it, but I still like Hell. Mm-hmm. And I love Nasha Katz. But let it be Hell. And from <laughs> <laughs> Spanish one, I like actually Siniesta. 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 Because it's connected to cinema and stuff, mm-hmm. and it sounds beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, as for me, I'd say Sacapuntas is my favorite because it sounds like music, like drums. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, that's obvious. <laughs> uh, no, of course, I have uh, one... I, I, I know some more words in Spanish from my background, and <laughs> Corazon, Corazon is the best. <laughs> I like azúcar. Azúcar, azúcar. Because it sounds like a swear Russian word. <laughs> they also have azúquita. It's like what a bit of azúcar. Ah, okay. Azúquita. Mm-hmm. Okay, and um, as for Swedish, <laughs> the last one is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I, like, I just expect uh, if there are any Scandinavian people listening to us, they're like, grow up. <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of like, you butchered the pronunciation and like, yeah, but at least the meaning is correct. So, guys, come and uh, tell us how to pronounce it. Yes, and also share uh, what words uh, you liked from the ones we discussed or maybe any other oh, words. Any from words languages. from yes. any languages, actually. So... That's we would yeah. be happy to discuss them too. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right in, we're gonna, you know, reply to your comments. So let's keep it going. Perfect conversation, yes. So that will be it uh, for today. We'll wrap it up. Thank you very much for listening to Zooming Through Chaos. Woo! Bye, guys. Thank See you. Ya.